Hey guys, it's me Fox. Today is the day where I'm gonna be testing servos on the living subject. And the living subject in this case is my beautiful CNC machine which I just finished upgrading with all the monstrous stuff I could found. But because of that, I wasn't sure if my servos will power it. And I have a 400 watt Edson servos from Motion Control Products. All the links are in the video description. And in this video I will use exactly the same scale I used to punish my uh, steppers to measure my new servos. I will start with the Z. Oof. I'm using this scale in reverse, so the maximum limit in this orientation is 240 kilograms. It looks like it went over by a lot, so I will definitely limit all my servos to some reasonable numbers. So this is a software which comes with the servos, and here it says forward internal torque limit 300, and then reverse. So you can set the servo to have a different power one way and a different power the other way. I think I'm just gonna set it to 50 and 50. The limit is from 0 to 400% and by default it's 300. I think that should do it and let's see the result. And now I will crash my Z axis on purpose, so here we go. And it stops at 106 kilograms. Wow, it's quite accurate. I have to remove the weight of the spindle and the plate, which should end up around 85 kilograms. So that's at 50%. Uh, if I set this to 100%, I would have 170 kilograms. If I set it to 200, it's gonna end up at 340 kilograms. And if I'm gonna uh, move it to 300, it would be 510 kilograms. So half a ton or 1000 pounds. I guess you wonder why I'm limiting the power of my machine. Um, it's quite simple because I really like it and I don't want uh, any harm happen to it. So for example if this is a ball screw and you're gonna put uh, what, half a ton uh, force and the ball screw will do this and then it might stay in this position and then when you start rotating, you know, after the crash, that ball screw is permanently damaged. Uh, it will be damaged the most at the, at the ends where it's locked. I have one servo for Z and one servo for X, but for Y I have a two motherfuckers. So when I'm gonna be, I don't know, jogging or doing something and the spindle let's say gonna hit the vice or something else the force it's over one ton so knowing about it and not doing anything that would be i think dumb uh, so i'm gonna limit that to maybe 200 kilograms and now i will set the servo on my x and i will run some tests and that's gonna be really interesting now i will test my x-axis which is uh 10 millimeter pitch ball screw so all the values should be divided by half let's say if some stepper is producing 100 kilograms on 5 millimeter ball screw uh, then it will produce 50 kilograms on 10 millimeter I dial it down from 300 to 100 83 whoopsie I took the power down to 83 kilograms. Uh, my Z assembly as a whole weighs 42 kilograms. So I guess now it's time to see if it has any power left to cut. Now 
let's do what? a millimeter. Went just fine. The finish looks amazing. Two millimeters cut. Two and a half meters per minute. Looks good. Finish as well. Three millimeters cut, ten millimeter deep, two and a half meters per minute. Shush, that's gonna be heavy. Two and a half meters per minute, four millimeter side cut, ten millimeter deep. Up to here, the floor finish looks pretty nice. Uh, the wall, well, actually, it's not not bad. There has a bit of uh, you know those tiny tiny lines from the cutter, but I think it start deflecting too much because the the floor it's not as clean anymore. It was pretty much the limit of the spindle at this speed and depth, and the z-axis is set only to 80 kilograms. So as you can see, you don't need half a ton to cut the aluminium at that depth and speed and so on. I have some chips from cutting the the deep and fast. They are kind of biggish, I would say. Size comparison. It looks like you don't need that much power to cut steel either. I did that cut with exactly the same settings. To explain this better, um, not sure if I can. It doesn't really matter if you're cutting steel, aluminium or wood. Um, as you've seen on that example, the spindle was giving up before the steppers or servos in this case. Um, so the servo was going and the spindle starts slowing down through the cut. Um, I guess I could do thicker cuts and so on, but I won't be doing that because uh, I really care for my bearings. Another interesting thing about the servos and steppers is that I had uh, NEMA 24 3 Newton meters installed on my z-axis and uh, it was generating around 215 or something around there uh, downward force. Um, but to go up I could go only with a thousand millimeters per minute so that was the limiting factor and here I lowered the power of the servo to 100 kilograms not 200 as I had before and I can go two or three meters up and down uh, without the problems I hope this video was as interesting for you as it was for me and um, I hope we're gonna see each other in the next one